What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's disaster detail is going to be on this Honda Fit and this car definitely takes a spot on one of the nastiest cars I've ever done. I say that a lot but the cars just keep getting worse and worse. This vehicle reeks of cat or some type of animal urine. There's tons of sand, cigarettes, just grimy greasy floors. This vehicle is just downright disgusting. I didn't think there was roaches in this vehicle which I was quietly surprised. But then when I pulled the carpet, I realized that it was infested with roaches and spiders, which I will show that later in the video. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe because I put a ton of effort into each and every one of these videos. So it would mean the world to me if you guys would just take a second and like and subscribe with your notifications turned on. Starting off this disaster detail, I'm going to start by moving all the floor mats and loose trash. And I cannot believe how much sand is on the driver's floor. It is insane. I don't understand why you can't just vacuum your car, but that's besides the point. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the trash that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum. And then I'll proceed to give this vehicle a nice pre-vacuum before pulling the carpet out of the vehicle. So I'm not sure who designed this carpet, but it's got to be the worst carpet I've ever seen. I wouldn't even call it carpet. It's more of like a cheap felt material. And I understand that, you know, car manufacturers like to save money, but I think this is a terrible idea because it is almost impossible to just get clean with just a vacuum. Maybe if your car was, I wouldn't even say that because I've done cars that aren't even that bad. And this cheap fell is just a pain and it is honestly a detailer's worst nightmare.
soon as I started removing this carpet, I realized that there is a ton of roaches underneath it. So what I did is I quickly removed the carpet and got this car outside as fast as possible, closed the doors, and then I bombed this vehicle probably 10 times with some industrial bug bombers and an uh, ozone machine as well. So this is pretty much the aftermath you're seeing here of all that. I didn't get a video of the roaches running around just because honestly, it was like a shock when I seen them because I didn't expect them to be in there and I just wanted the vehicle out of my shop as fast as possible. The same thing applies to this cheap carpet on the back of seats. As you guys see here, I'm using pretty much every method I know to get this dog hair out of the seat and nothing is working. I used a pet brush, vacuum, I will even use compressed air in a second and nothing was quick but I eventually got all the dog hair out but this probably took me probably an hour and a half alone just to do this so car manufacturers please just use some better material on your cars. Starting off the seat extraction, I'll be using our Extreme APC and a drill brush to agitate the surface. And then I'll be using our Mighty HP60 extractor to suck up all this nastiness that is deeply embedded in the seat. I've been using the same extractor for over six years now, and I have not had one single issue with this machine. So if you guys are in the market to pick up a high quality extractor, I definitely recommend checking out Mighty because they just don't break and it just makes cleaning seats, carpets, everything just a breeze and is probably one of the best investments I've ever made.
So I want you guys to leave a comment down below what you think that this is in the sea. I believe it is some type of animal urine because that's what it smells like, but it was absolutely disgusting. I ran about 15 gallons of water through my extractor to get this seat clean. It was just, honestly, I thought the water was never gonna get clear, but I eventually got it. This seat probably took probably roughly two to three hours itself. Also, if you guys have not yet seen the POV version of that nasty roach outlander that I did, the link will be down in the description. So everybody should go check that out and subscribe to our second page. On the second channel, I'll be posting pretty much everything that didn't make it on this channel from POVs to how to's to just pretty much everything. I'm going to flood that channel with videos. I want this channel to, to only be the nastiest cars I can possibly find disaster detailing wise, but the other channel. I don't care. I'm going to post anything and everything on there. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are subscribed. The link will be down in the description.
So moving on to the interior of this vehicle, I'll be using our Extreme APC followed by a detail brush to get in all the cracks and crevices. Then I'll be using our steamer to loosen up all the nastiness and just sanitize the area. And then I'll be using a microfiber with our air compressor to blow out everything and make sure the surface is 100% clean and 100% dry. Thank you. 